Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. Sleeper hit. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm timber chod, not water chod. That was nasty. And I'm not happy about oh, this, oh, just oh, so oh, you oh. know. I'd like to thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring this episode. If you're into the low carb lifestyle like I am, but high protein, this cereal's for you and me. They have my favorite flavor. They got the coca with the great chocolatey taste. I feel guilty when I'm eating it, but then I look in the box and I'm like, there's nothing guilty about this. Magic Spoon cereal is only 140 calories per serving. Such a great chocolatey taste. I still can't believe there's zero sugar. I'm staying wholesome with cereal that makes me feel like I'm a kid again, but with my grown up flavor and taste. The variety comes in four delicious flavors. Coca, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Look at all these flavors. And no artificial ingredients. Magic Spoon fits a variety of lifestyles. High in protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored. Magic Spoon has a great taste you'll love with more protein and less sugar. I still can't believe there's like zero sugar in here because this cereal tastes really good. Click my link in the description below to get $5 off the Magic Spoon cereal and use my code I Hate Your Deck. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I Hate Your Deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone? It's Lynch from My Hate Your Deck. I'm here to play more spicy magic with my lovely wife Hi. and my friends, because that's what I love doing, playing paper magic with my friends. Hi, I'm Chrissy. I'm here to play some magic. Glad to be back. I'm ready to win. <laughs> I am face. ready to stomp all over you guys with my elves. Hey guys, Sean, back again. I am excited to be here, fan of the show, friend of the show. Can't wait to play some magic with some uh, really good friends. Hello, I'm Cowboy John. I'm cousin Normal John. <laughs> I'm here today to play against my old friends here and take my crown back from Lynch, who defeated me last time. Ooh, took away my perfect record on the show. Let's go into rule zero. I'm playing the new Doctor Who River Song deck. I do have some proxies in here. Most of the cards I have proxies I own. There might be a couple that I don't, but you know, he's here for the show, I'm looking at fun. Is everyone cool with proxies? Yep. Yeah, I'm excited to see River Song. I am too. I thought it was really fun when I saw it come out, the fact that you draw from the bottom of your library and the fact that it rewards you for other people searching and scrying or surveilling and gets her big and does damage. I thought that was just a fun mechanic because in Commander, people abuse searching. River Song, one generic blue, red, legendary creature, human time lord rogue. Meet and reverse. You draw cards from the bottom of your library rather than the top. Spoilers is another ability. Whenever an opponent scries, surveils, or searches their library, put a plus one count on River Song. Then River Song deals damage to that player equal to its power. Oh. So ideally, oh. I have cards in here that will make us all search. And then also there's stuff that I can mill, but then put some of the stuff I mill in bottom of the library. So again, just ways for me to hopefully manipulate the bottom library <laughs> than the top deck manipulation. Bottom deck <laughs> yeah. Yeah. manipulation. I'm gonna be playing Azuri Renegade later. It's one generic, two green. He's an elf warrior, two, two. And then I can pay a force to regenerate another elf, target elf. And then I can pay two generic and three force. And elf creatures I control get plus three, plus three and gain trample until end of turn. Yes. So pretty much, I just want to get a lot of mana dorks, tap them up, build them up, and just go stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> so. Elves doing elves things. Yeah, you guys are going to yeah. be running in the forest from the elves. I hope you're prepared. There's no proxies except a guy's cradle. Is that okay with mm. everybody? 
I mean, yeah. Mono green against a bunch of other strong decks makes sense. Guy's Cradle and a mono green go wide deck. Try to combat this uh, elf ball madness we have going on here. I am uh, bringing Phylath, the World Sculptor. It's a 5-5 five, five for four red and green. Legendary creature, elemental. When Phylath, World Sculptor, enters the battlefield, create a 0-1 green plant creature token for each basic land you control. And then it also has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put four plus one plus one counters on target plant you control. Four? So, yes. Jeez. Mm. It's kind of cool having Avenger of Zendikar like in your command zone. And what I really like about this is it kind of encourages you not to have to play like crazy lands because it cares about basic lands. You Things that cheap to... when lands in command are like the most expensive yeah, thing. Exactly. You have a deck that has like $7,000 worth of land. Yeah, it kind of encourages that like basic build. There are some crazy cards in here. Crater Hoof is one of them. <laughs> uh, Two Crater Hoofs. <laughs> yes, we will be now having Crater Hoof. Now we know the burn's going toward it. Crater Hoof <laughs> battles. Yes, yes, of course. I have to run it in here. It's got, you know, I'm making a bunch of points. Yes. If you're green going you wide, it's it. hard not to get the hoof. It, it really good. isn't. Though. Landfall decks do landfall things. It's going to do landfall things, yeah. Kentucky, it is Southern Comfort. I have Thimberchod. I love him because he does Bernie things, which is always fun. But then also when we saw the Dungeons and Dragons movie, my son laughed out loud when the big obese dragon came out. So I knew I had to build a big obese dragon deck. <laughs> So, good reason to Especially the way he just like yeah. slides on that treasure. He exactly. just comes I, in I belly can, I can relate to that too, right? So like. <laughs> Thimberchot is a legendary dragon with trample. It says when Thimberchot enters the battlefield, he deals X damage to each other creature without flying and each player where X is the number of mountains I control. So very similar to your deck, my, my deck is all basic mountains. I also may exert him as he attacks. And if I do, he gains flying until the end of turn. Just like in the movie. <laughs> I like how he's going to exert. He's like, I barely yeah. get in the air. Yeah, the best yeah. uses of that keyword probably ever. ever. See, that's why I, that's why I assert him key. to yeah. fly. Yeah. I love this deck. It's really fun. I usually try to play it as he's like the final attack, right? So ideally, I get everybody nice and low. He comes out. Everybody's dead except so for me. So he's your win, Kai. He's, he's my win. But, until... well, so that's normally how I like to play it. He has come out plenty of times if I need to wipe, which is great, which goes back to the whole elf problem. How, yes. can, how can we run in the forest if there's no forest to run in? It's all burning. <laughs> oh. Burn the forest. Scorched earth. So we're both doing universe beyond commanders. You guys okay with that? The D&D &D and Doctor Who? 100%, yes. I love it. I hate your deck. Let's roll to see who goes first. Five. Five. Six. Dang! So Sean's first? Yes. Get your seven. I will draw Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle. One of the only non-basic lands in this deck. <laughs> and I will pass. The danger. I will draw for yeah, a turn. it's lurking. I will play a force. I will pay one, and I will cast Lana War Elves. There's the one one, tap it, and it gives me a green forest. Little mana dork, then I'll pass. Untap a creep draw. I'm gonna play a Sulphur <laughs> Falls tapped here. because I don't have a mountain. I, I have to have a mountain or island for it to come in untapped, so I pass. All right, I'll untap and draw. Mountain, I will tap that mountain and I'll play a Wayfarer's Bobble. For two, I can tap it, sag it, search my library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. I will then pass. The way you said all right, it sounded like Mighty Python. All right, we all call right. it a draw. All yeah. right, yeah. Australian. <laughs> all right then. Tis but a flesh wound, so go ahead. <laughs> all right, untap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play this Forest from Mirage. Ooh, old school. Tap the Valakut and play, ooh, a Soul Ring. I'm going to tap the Forest and the Soul Ring, and I'm going to cast Nature's Lore. I have one floating. Search your library for any Forest card, put it directly into play. This does not count towards your one land per turn limit. Reshuffle your library afterwards. This is back when they overexplained cards. From Ice Age, that's when I started to play around that time. Maybe I do have a duel in here. I don't, because that's how I play. Oh, there's a, a forest. <laughs> Who duel, you duel. There's a forest. So I have one, one floating. The forest comes into play untapped. Unfortunately, may I have a cut, please? I don't think I have a follow-up to that play. I will then go ahead and pass the turn. Untapped. Yep, lose the floater, floats away. Draw. Play hands, a forest. Too. I'll pay one. For Finned Horn Elves. Tap for green. Same set. Boom. I will pay another forest and I will cast Jiraga Tree Speaker. I will not pay to level it up, so it stays at level zero. I will move into combat with my Llanowar Elves towards my 
Oh, she always hits me first. Always. <laughs> Are you it's done? Totally fair. You passing? Yeah. Okay. Everybody I hits untap. Me first. Yeah, that's true. Draw for turn. I'm gonna put a training center into play. It's not tapped because I have two more beautiful opponents. Face to face with greatness, <laughs> and it's strange. <laughs> I will tap two, and I'm going to cast a swift boot boots. The rabbit with the boots. Oh, that's a cool one. I like yeah. that. I thought so. I will then pass. All right, I'll tap and I'll draw. <laughs> I will play a Mountain, and then I will crack my beautiful Wayfire's Bobble in half and go find another Mountain from my library and put it on the battlefield tap, and then I will pass. All right, I will untap, upkeep, draw. All right, I'm going to play this Mountain, watch out, getting closer to the Molten Pinnacle. Be silly. And I'm gonna tap, because I don't get to do this a lot. I'm gonna tap Soul Ring for two, Valakut and the Mountain and Forest. Let's see what you guys do. I'm gonna cast All Will Be One. Enchantment. Whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent or player, all will be one deals that much damage to target opponent, creature and opponent controls, or planeswalker and opponent controls. I will pass the turn all after right. that. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a forest, pay three to cast Circle of Dreams Druid. I tap it and it adds one forest for each creature I control. Oh boy. I will tap the Finhorn Elves and the Llanowar Elves to level up the Jiraga Tree Speaker. It's happening. And then I will pass my turn. Untap, draw. I'll play a Reliquy Tower for turn. Let's do it. Do it. Let's tap three. Let's cast River Song, the Human Time Lord Rogue 2-2. Two -two. And now I will draw from the bottom of my library. And if y'all search, Surveil or scry, I'm gonna get plus one to do damage. Then I'm going to not equip to the boots because that is not lightning greaves. <laughs> and I will pass the turn. <laughs> I was about to just yeah, equip you it. Were like, oh, this you saw great. me, I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like a magnet repelled. All right, I'm gonna untap and I will draw. That is hilarious though how big that dragon is. Yeah. Yeah. He's a chungus among us. I'm gonna pay two. I will cast Rolling Vortex. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals one damage to them. Whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, it deals five damage to that player. And then I can pay red, and my opponents can't gain life on the turn that I pay that red. Love it. Yep. Oh, Unfortunately, right. I did not get another mountain. Not loving it. I will pasta the Fazolis. Pasta? <laughs> I will accept your pasta and untap. Now you're making me hungry for pasta. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just... Let's get out my dude. I'm gonna tap two, four, and six, and I will cast Phylath. World Sculptor. When ETBs, I have three basic lands, so I'll make three plant tokens. I play a land for turn that will trigger Phylath. When it enters the battlefield, I put four plus one plus one counters onto target plant I control. For that, I'm going to use my Feed Me plant because he's the one that is nom nom nine. I will get four plus one plus one counters on this and it will trigger all will be one. I will get a four damage trigger. Oh, I'm sorry. I also took one at the beginning of my upkeep oh, from good. Roiling that Vortex. Yep. The elves are pretty egregious. I think I have to do four damage to the Circle of Dreams Druid. That hurts. River Song is really good, but you're gonna untap and have more mana than me, and I have a Soul Ring and Ramped. <laughs> so, oh. I have to put a little bit of a dampener on it. So I know. Fun. And she's foil. She's so pretty. It is foil, it is a sweet so card. so pretty. Into the graveyard she goes. It hurts, but it's also a little satisfying. Yeah, Bam! I pass the turn. Sad. Okay. Untap, up, keep, draw. Yeah. Rolling vo Vortex deals one damage. Thank you. I love that card. And then... It never gets enough, like... My Obnixilis, I play both of those cards. Oh, yeah. That, that's gross. I'm going to tap Jiraga for two. I'm going to float that. I'm going to use one to cast Crayon Ranger. That is a 1-1 one, one summon elf. Return a forest you control to owner's hand. Untap target creature. Use this ability only once each turn. I'm going to tap and float this. And then I'm going to return this to my hand. And then I'm going to play this as my land for a turn. And then I will untap this guy. Yeah. So, so I, I have, have two floating. floating and I'm going to tap the Findhorn Elves. And I'm going to cast Jagged Scar Archers. Jagged Scar Archers' power and toughness are each equal to the number of elves you control. And I can tap it and it deals damage equal to its power. Target creature with flying. Yay. Oh my lord. Jeez, please. No. Tumber Chod. He doesn't have flying, actually. But his. Oh, he doesn't? Oh, you he's add exerted. flying. That's, he's too oh, big to that's fly. Right. <laughs> Dang. 
Dang. Small wings. He's just that much of a chunk. He's just, yeah, exactly. And then, He's a big do boy. You, you don't have anything out yet, right? No, I'm just going <laughs> to swing it with you one. Okay. Because you're wide open, so I might as well just do it. Boop. And then I will pass my turn. Untap one damage, rolling vortex trigger. Draw from the bottom of my library. Get there the we go. Nice. Do the, I have no idea what this is. Let's go. You're doing timey, wimey, wobbly, flobbly things, whoever they so, say. So, Shivan Reef is land for turn. I got four. I think I'll tap one. Let's finally do what you're supposed to do is put the boots on. In, in response to that, I'm going to red elemental blast your commander. Ooh. <laughs> there is a problem. <laughs> Pass the city limits. You nip it in the bud. <sighs> She's <laughs> blasted. Ouch. I have to stop you from doing timey, wimey, wobbly, jobbly things or whatever, right? That's the line, right? So I guess what I'll do is I'll tap one for colorless, and I'm going to cast Lantern of Insight. Artifact. Each player plays the top card of his or her library revealed. So I get to know what you guys got. I can tap and sack it to have target player shuffle his or her library. I have a terrifying city on fire. You can shuffle yeah, my deck sure. if you want. I will pass the turn. I will take a damage from my own rolling vortex. I will draw this not mountain and be sad. <laughs> and reveal a <laughs> what do you got? mountain. Oh. Uh, oh, so you have no mountains. Yeah. So we know how much you, you don't have mountains. You should shuffle I love my deck. <laughs> you should shuffle my deck. He really wants you to Please, shuffle Please, senore. Can I see what you got? <laughs> senore, prego, prego. Shuffle my deck. <laughs> Mangiare <laughs> troppo salami non salutare al molto grasso. However, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to play, or attempt to play, the Dark Side Extortionist. Oh, my lord. I'm going to create X treasure tokens, where X is the number of artifacts and enchantments my opponents control. How many is that? You have two. Uh, I have two. And yeah, two. Four. So it would be four at the moment. I'm a hungry man. Um, Please, spaghetti. That would put him at... <laughs> well, it is your... Are you passing priority? I pass priority. I have no response. Are you passing priority? In response. Don't, I don't destroy my thing. I'm going to pay three. I'm going to blow this up. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's a relief, partner. <laughs> response? No response. Response? The only response I have for you is you get a 3-3 three, uh, three green beast. Uh, I'm going to shed a tear for my fallen. And that uh, circle tear for of the dreams yeah. ruined. Uh, I hope out. that did you a little justice. Hey, I okay? got a beast token. Do you need one? Sweet. Yeah, thank you. I have priority now. I don't think we want to see the dragon come out and the fact whoa, whoa, that we whoa, know whoa, that's whoa, going whoa, on. Whoa, I think I am going to tap for two whoa, blue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm not happy about whoa, this. Whoa, whoa, Just so whoa, you know. I wish I had a different whoa, 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 whoa. counter in my hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, that, what, if, what if the dragon doesn't come out? What if I don't bring the dragon out? Is that fair? I think we still have this. You don't, you don't you know. have any creatures. Why do you care if the dragon comes I'm gonna, out? The weakest mana drain. Spaghetti, please, come on. <laughs> oh, Mama Mia. Oh. It's the weakest <laughs> mana drain I've ever done in my life. To the yeah. weakest dark side extortionist. Come on. This I'm has been like, I know, spike right? plays. Come on, yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on, guys. Spaghetti. I just want to play spaghetti. some magic. Even just though I play. lost something, I am for it. Like, yeah. spite play to kill my thing All so right. he doesn't get an extra and then he doesn't get anything on a spite play from you. That makes me very sad. Put it in the graveyard. You could have read Elemental Blast in my I could have. I could have. <laughs> Whatever. Where's your Pyro Blast? Whatever you timey wimey. It's in there, it's in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Whatever you timey wimey, whatever, the people are going to be like, hey, <laughs> All right. I guess I'll just sadly pass my turn, but don't forget to take your one damage. Oh, don't, I wish yeah. I had countered his damn commander. All right, I'll untap. I'll upkeep. I'll. Dr oh, wait. I'll take a damage. Yes, yes, Doc. I'll draw this ghost town. You remembered your trigger. Revealing a witty roast master. All right, I'm going to play a forest. I'm going to put four plus one counters onto my feed me plant because he wants to eat. All right, so I'm going to tap for five mana, two forests, Falicate, and the soul ring. And we're going to cast Traverse the Outlands. Search your library for up to X basic land cards, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Put those cards onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. That would have been a great card to counter with a mana that train. trained. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Response? Uh, pass. I don't know why I was so worried about your dragon now. Yeah, because he was the making you worried about the dragon. Yes, he uh, was making you worried about the dragon. I have no response. Hey, the good news is when I draw this mountain, I'll be able to, oh. <laughs> he was planting the seed for his plant to grow. Land comes in is when you put counters. I have a creature with eight power, so I will search for eight basic lands. They will enter the battlefield tapped. Each it's good thing that you stopped the all as yeah. one, Will. I'm getting a lot of mountains right it's now. It's 32. You popped, bro, and I failed my mana drain. Yeah. <laughs> mana drain. I yes. To be fair, I started it, I guess. Okay. It's all my fault. I mean, Michigan versus the, Kentucky, my, we're in problems. Mountains. You get oh eight gosh. mountains. Eight Valica triggers of three damage apiece. 
That's a lot. That's a uh, 24. Is, is Valakut to any target or just to opponent? It's to any target. It's to a target creature one, or boom, player. Boom, 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 so yeah, boom. I can start just like bing, bang, bang, and then probably hit. Oh yeah, then I have my landfall triggers to resolve as well. This is a, oh yeah. Uh, all right, so first one will go, this is a two. It is it's a one, a one right now? One, two. One, two. All right, so I'll do one, two, three, four, and then five. <laughs> and then six, seven, and eight will go to you. So three, six, nine will go to you. Nine damage? Nine damage to your it's face. It's three per trigger? So yeah. sad. So sad. Okay. Then Good. I have eight triggers onto my plants. Wow. A four apiece. So Jesus whip. You're at <laughs> Jesus whip. <laughs> Best line in Hellraiser. <laughs> so I'm going to use this aptly named third token that says, a lot of folks deserve to die. <laughs> Maybe not deserve, but four here. I'm gonna get roasted eight for times that four. Mana three. Three. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I so thought we were still four. early in the game. I did still have fun. <laughs> yeah. So 16 here, and then 16 here, I guess. Gross. I'm actually relieved because I thought I was going to get roasted for my red elemental blast, but then thankfully that happened. So now I feel a lot <laughs> so better. Now, well, no, the comments will you roast you both, first, and then I'll get roasted second. Right. You guys both like, like, like they'll be so early. outraged. Okay, but when you're like, okay, but you know as well as I do that when the boots when the boots are going on, that's your last chance. Yeah. And you're the only one running blue. I know. Well, it makes sense. All right, I'm going to combat. I'm gonna swing my two 16 powered plants at Lynch. Is that killing me? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna swing my other plant and my five powered Phyleth at Chrissy. Wow. And my beast at John's cousin. Is it because I'm virtually no threat? Basically. Okay. <laughs> you're the blue player, you're gonna untap. I don't know, you got a mana drain with- Didn't even get to use my <laughs> two mana. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It could be worse, this could be a long River game. song, dude, you only got to pull from the bottom of your deck once. <laughs> at least it did it, but it's- <laughs> You did, at least you got to you do it once. Once, hey, you, know, so so you did it. So wait, we no longer play with this up anymore? Cause nope, so it went away. I died. I, uh, I feel like the guy who shot Franz Ferdinand, right? I accidentally started a world war. And I didn't mean to, I just wanted to get rid of one guy. All right, second main phase, I'm gonna tap for two. I'm going to cast an Impact Tremors, and then I will pass the turn. It says, uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, Impact Tremors deals one damage to each opponent. Upkeep draw. <laughs> when, when she plays 38 hasty green creatures. I'm gonna play a creatures. forest. Oh, take no, Rolling forward takes life. Thanks, Mike, thank you for doing yeah, that. Yeah, I can help remember. I'll I'm doing three, things. And I'll cast Azuri. There he is. And I'll pass to... <laughs> Not you anymore, John. <laughs> that was just cruel. Sorry. It's only out of love, I promise. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna draw my mount. Uh. <laughs> we know it's not a mountain. Sadly, we don't know what is beyond that anymore. I'm gonna, or what's in here. I'm gonna pay two, <laughs> and I'm gonna play the Goblin Crater Maker. It's a 2-2 two -two Goblin Warrior. It's one of my favorite cards from Lord of the Rings set because I can pay one and I can choose one. I can deal two damage to target creature or destroy target colorless non-land permanent. That's right. Immerkul can get killed by this guy with one man. What? Yeah. Only colorless? Excuse yeah. me. Colorless non-land permanent. Immerkul, you're yeah. dead. Is this like the guy who's supposed to have run into that hole in Helm's Deep? I think so, <laughs> but I'm not positive. I think that was an orc in the movie, but maybe in the book it was a goblin, I don't know. I absolutely love this card. Yeah, right? Sleeper hit. But the orcs have brought a delivery from Orthanc. So at my upkeep, I was also supposed to take a damage from my rolling vortex. So uh, then I will very sadly uh, pass the turn and await my death. Yes, we have all of our deaths. Right, I'm gonna Oh, and tap all this land. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. All right, all right. <laughs> all these mountains I have. All this land. Upkeep, rolling vortex trigger. Upkeep, I get a trigger from rolling <laughs> vortex. Draw, I knew what that was. Oh, and he six, can play seven, something. <laughs> I'm going to Court of Calling for X is eight. Search my it? library for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Are you crater hoping to give it? trample? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm looking to get. It's a it's a crater hoof Bahamut. Well, at least you get to play yours. All right, you are resolving your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the truest sense of the words. X is eight. I grabbed 
The Crater Hoof Behemoth. It's a 5-5 with haste. Whenever it enters the battlefield, creatures I control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures I control. Currently, I have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. They're all gonna get plus six, plus six, and trample. That will also trigger impact tremors, so each of you will take one damage, please. <laughs> I'm still in this Thank thing. Thank you, Mike, You're for still, here. still being a part of the game. Negative one is not zero. Facts. I like that. That took a minute, man. That was like... <laughs> Play my land for turn. It'll uh, be a forest. Four I will more. trigger Phylath, putting four plus one plus one counters onto my dude here, uh, putting him up to 12. Okay. Everything has plus six, plus six, and trample. I'll go to combat. I'm gonna swing my uh, Audrey, two of my Audrey two plants over at John's cousin over here. And then I'm gonna swing the rest over at Chrissy. Yeah, I'm gonna block. Dives. And then you both die. I could block, but I'm already in the after. <laughs> but you know what let's do? Because now we know we're coming after you like arch enemy, I think. Spirit Is everyone in the sky. agree? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is everyone okay coming after him like he's arch enemy? Well, Wait so, a minute, hold on well, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what is this? I here's the thing. It's a game. Uh, my deck didn't get something? to do much, but most of my burn spells target everybody, including myself. So I can't make any promises, but <laughs> anything that I can target, I can target his way. Yeah. Okay. Game uh, memory. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm holding my counters for you. Yeah. You probably should. I mean, let's roll to see who goes first. Four. Three. I got Five. Ooh, I Dead I last. last. All right, One. let's get our seven. Mike going first is never good. Draw for turn. Molten tributary enters tapped, but it is an island and a mountain. On tab draw? I'm going to play a mountain and I'll pass. Draw. Good sir, I will also play a mountain and pass. I will draw. I still say I'm the fairest because mine's tapped. I'll play a forest. The fairest one of I'll all. I'll tap it and I will play a thin horn elves and I will pass. Untap, I'll keep drop. I'll sh shuck in nasty bits. I'll tap two. I will cast an Augur of Bolas. I'm gonna, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> We're not doing this again. We know he's the bad guy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we go after Sean uh, this game. We, we don't need we, to was, go after Sean. He killed us fast. <laughs> Oh, I know. And he dismantled Aug your whole board yes. many times. You yeah. know where those elves are That's going. Awful. When Augur of Bolas enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal an instant or sorcery from among them and put them into your hand, but the rest at the bottom of your library. Oh, sick. I'll look at three. Good tech. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna reveal an Unleashed Fury, which is double the power of target creature until end of turn. So I'll put them on the bottom this way. Yeah, this goes to my hand. That's true, they do. Huh? Yep. I have a creature and pass. I will untap and draw. I will play a mountain, and then I will tap that for the Ring of Bara here, which to you lay people is the sword of the animist. <laughs> Quick creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever the equipped creature attacks, I may search my library for a basic land card, put on the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle equip cost two. I will pass. It's always great when I cowboy calls someone a lay person. <laughs> Listen here, you lay folk. To you lay people. You lay <laughs> folk. City slickers as oh. I call them. <laughs> Love that movie. All right, I will draw. I will play a forest, two mana, and cast a sylvan library. It's very special, it's gold bordered. Please don't look at it too much. It's also signed. I still feel that very art good. looks like a giant elephant. But it was a cheaper version than the regular one, so. I would pass okay. the turn after that. Dude, the green collection was great. Untap, up, and keep, that. and draw. I bought like three of them. <laughs> they were so I cheap. I will play a forest. Larry bought one and I, I saw what came in and I got super jealous right away. I was like, yeah. see bar moves. And I'm gonna exactly. tap three to cast a Zuri. Yeah, out here. Pass my turn. Untap, up, keep, draw. I'm going to play a mountain for a turn. And now I have options. I have a lot of things to do. I'm gonna tap three and I'm gonna cast Noble Benefactor. 2-2, two, two, yeah. summon cleric. If Noble Benefactor is put into any graveyard from play, each player may search his or her library for any card and put that card into their hand. Each player who searches his or her library shuffles it afterwards. So obviously with River Song, it's cool. I'm gonna want it to die. I can attack. Well, take one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yay! From the auger. You're still higher light total than me. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. All right, I will untap and I will draw. I mean, I have Sylvan out, so you know I'm probably gonna be taking some damage. 
I hope you do. And I like the noble benefactor. He kind of reminds me of Bernie Sanders and what everything he does. <laughs> Bernie Sanders? <laughs> and how he looks. Like, oh, dude. Uh huh. Totally. <laughs> should be a Bernie yeah. Sanders. That would be the ulti art, right? Yeah. All right, I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to play the Canoptic Wraith. It is a 2 1 artifact creature that has Wraith form. It cannot be blocked. It also has Transdimensional Scout. When Can Canoptic Wraith deals combat damage to a player, I may pay three mana and sacrifice it. If I do, I search my library for two basic land cards with the same name as a land that I control and put them on the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. And then I will pass after that. I'm going to untap on my upkeep. I will Sylvan Library drawing. Or no, I'm sorry, not on my upkeep, but on my draw step. I draw two additional cards. Yeah, so you untap upkeep Sylvan Library trigger. I put these Take back. Take your life. Coward. 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 Yellow belly. Wait a minute. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Yes, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know why I went down so I far. <laughs> like, ah! You were at 39. Take eight, drawing the two extra cards. Yes. Yes. Full send, as the kids say. Do you see the dangers of peer pressure, children? <laughs> don't pay a life like Sean did. Well, I just want to keep certain cards in my hand. I'm going to play this uh, mountain as my land for a turn. Yeah. I'm going to pay, <laughs> tap for three. I'm going to cast an Atalan Jackal. Is a 2-2 Trample Haste Skilled Outrider. Whenever Atalan Jackal deals combat damage to a player, you may search your library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Get River Song out, Mike. Is a Humid Tyranid Scout. I will then go to combat since he has haste and trample. You're in combat. Is a 2-2. I will swing. John Boy, I'm going to swing at you. I will take it. All right. Uh, as trigger, I will search my library for any land, put it on the battlefield. Holy mudger of fudge nuts. Yep. I will get a shucky, mountain card. Shucky darn. Put it on the said. battlefield tap. <laughs> shucky darns. So and I pass the turn. All right. I'm going to untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a forest for my land this turn. And I'm going to tap. <laughs> Where are you playing? Your reaction was the best. in <laughs> Guilt Leaf. Whining Guilt Leaf Dane. Elf Warrior. It is a 3-4 with reach. Other elf creatures I control get a plus one, plus one. And whenever it attacks, I gain one life for each attacking elf I control. And are you Hit him. open? Yes. I am open. Yeah, moving into combat, I will swing. Another right, um, damage. I yeah. will shuffle through my cards. <laughs> and do and take two, yeah. And it is Commander Danny. Yay! Oh, that's right. She gets the Hobbit Leaf. And I will pass my turn. I like everything's a Hobbit Leaf. We're not even playing yeah. Lord of the Rings, and I'm still like, Hobbits! <laughs> <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Yes! Four lands. All right, four, so I will tap. Four. Hold on one second, I think you should, that was buffed, right? Oh, so I took three? Yes, my bad, sorry. sorry. I'm gonna now tap four, use three of it to cast River Song. We know what she does. I'm gonna draw from the bottom of the library and do dumb shit. What else was that? Then I have one more. I'm <laughs> going to cast Clout of Dominus. It's an aura enchantment, enchant creature. Enchanted creature is blue, it gets a plus one in shroud. As long as it's red, it gets plus one in haste. What sucks wow. is you already saw that I had the other thing that targets a double power and now I can't target my own person. But I am to. gonna swing and hit you for four because it gives haste. Oh, God. I'll let you with these two. I'll hold this one back for a blocker. All right, I'm just gonna hit you again. Four, five, six, seven, hit you for seven. Let's bring you down. And that's four more commander damage from a different commander. Four more. The clock is ticking. The There's Doctor Who power of River Song. I will be the water droplet or the firework that works. I'll deal with the elf's menace later. <laughs> You'll wish you had me around to help. <laughs> that's all I can say. Let's hope that's not what happened. He's like, no, Sean, you're going to sit out the game shot. like I had to. That's very fair. <laughs> Let you watch and help contribute to the, the scoreboard. The I can do the things. Yeah, yeah, you do what I I'll did. I'll work the board. <laughs> Pass the turn. All right, I will untap. I will draw. Well, yeah, that's the thing, Lynch. We all realize we're going to take a lot of damage if we search. <laughs> And I don't want that happen, so I don't know if that's worth it. Nope. I think at this point, maybe maybe just remove target Sean from game, and then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> remove target <laughs> Sean from Bummer. game. Bummer. That's turned three for me. He's like, this is just Probably turned four for me. I, I at least went through <laughs> six with you guys. I mean, I'm not going to be able to deal 21 damage. You're going to get another turn or two. All right, so I'm going to send the Canoptic Wraith. It cannot be blocked. Not that you have a blocker anyway at 
Beautiful, wonderful Sean. Okay. And then, that then I'll pay the three to activate its secondary ability, which is to sack it, and I go get two more mountains, because that's the land I'm gonna choose, and put them on the battlefield tap. You're searching? Yes. Oh, no. So yeah, there you go, do your magic lady powers. I get my mountains. River Song will trigger, putting a plus one counter. That's five damage, you'll lose five life. Sweet. Did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing magic. <laughs> and then after that, I think I'm all good to pass. Magical magic. Untap, upkeep, draw, draw two extra for Sylvan Library. Full send, full send, full send. Unless you're yellow. You did take eight you of your own belly. So You know what, guys? When you you're down to 19, how about you? But you took a quarter of that life yourself to keep cards. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I did. Greed is, old greed greed is a quarter of your life we right just now. Got to do All right, I'm going to do oh something silly. Or I'm going to play Glacial Chasm as my land for a turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap and, oh no, I'm going to sack this mountain, tapping it, floating a mana. Glacial Chasm says, cumulative upkeep two life. When it comes into play, sacrifice a land. Tap the mountain for mana and sacrifice it. You cannot attack. All damage dealt to you is reduced to zero. Nice. Damage like permanently, like non-combat damage and damage. All damage dealt so to you. So now me. we cannot do any damage to you. But he has to pay the cumulative upkeep, so we just gotta wait him out. What's the upkeep? Yes. He's gotta pay two life every turn. I have to pay oh, two life. more and more and more. Air a turn. So maybe we have a friendship building up our places thing until he kills himself or that goes away, right? The red floating and the two cast a cultivate. Any response? No response. Response? No response. Cultivate. Cultivate resolves. You are searching. It's River library, will put right? another counter going to two. So then there would have been six damage that was attempted to hit you, which does not happen. And the chasm goes whoosh. The chasm it falls into the chasm. chasm. This is why land, land destruction land. is important. I think land no, destruction is underplayed. Oh, absolutely. I All my decks have land destruction. I will, if you I vote for me for Kalia. president, land destruction will yeah. be yeah. a priority. Yeah. It's it's rough. I have land destruction. It's rude, it. but it's great. Yeah, it's rude. Yeah, it's rude, but it's but still. But sometimes like, you got to do what you got to do. It's not like tabernacle. It's not. No, it's not like that. No, 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 no. Fucking tabernacle. That's uh, a so I'll have card. the yeah. forest go into my into onto the battlefield tapped and mountain go into my hand. It's like if you run tabernacle, you got to warm people. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it is so expensive. No one's expecting you to have it. Like the snows of yesteryear, gone from this earth. I pass the turn. <laughs> I will. Untap. It's gone from this earth. Upkeep, draw, play a forest, tap one, Quarian Rager. I already played my land, and then I'll tap two. And I too now will have a Sylvan library. Oh, the biblioteca. I have both of us are open. You're both open? But we're all big spaghetti friends. I'm going to swing my three, three commander at Mike. And I'm gonna swing, so he's just a three, four. Okay. I gain one leech for each attacking elf I control. So you're gonna gain so two. two. I'll pass. Untap. Dwine it. I do the thing. I draw from the bottom of the library. Come on, y'all. Oh, that's right. I knew what it was. Do you want to know what it was? It's a foily island. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I hit my land drop when I Boom, stacked that dude. bottom. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to tap him out on an island, and I'm going to cast an explosive iteration. Look the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand, put one of them on the bottom, and exile one, and you may play the exile card this turn. Yes. One. Two, three. I guess what I'll do is I'll put this in my hand. I'll exile the right old sentinel and I'll put the Shivan Reef on the bottom of the library. That card is so much better in that deck. That is like the best deck for that card. Dude, it is. You pretty, get everything out of that. Pretty happy. Yeah, you get. The, you really do. You, you get everything out of you it. You basically get two. Like, you're, there's you're no stack, downside to that stacking, card you're stacking. at all in that deck. Then I will just. I think it's just good to just go ahead and do this. So I'll go ahead and I'll tap the three, and I'll cast the Exiled Sentinel, which reads: It's a construct. It's an artifact creature. Defender three three. When it enters the battlefield, target player mills three cards. I'm just gonna target myself because I can then later pay three, put tar card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Mm -hmm. And we know I don't even draw from the top, so let's, I might as well have more access. Imperial Recruiter, not a bad card. Malik Isaac Paragon and Epitaph Golem. Let's see here. For the great offenses that you've caused to Gondor. And she's at 42 life. I'm gonna hit you with the uh, six 
six river and then I'm just gonna hit you for a little measly one just to keep you keep you down just to keep you down man <laughs> I'll take six. people always keep those cow pokes down <laughs> that's the problem then I go to my end step and pass the turn all right see the chasm divides I will untap it makes people realize that I will draw hit each other Mountain. How strong is a uh, river, river, timey Six, wimey? six. I can get rid of everything except for that and that, as long as you won't swing that at me when I do it on my next turn, because I won't be able to protect myself. Okay, so actually he can't ramp because he can't attack. I can't attack he with can't this. Attack no. so I didn't attack with yeah, it last turn because I was going to take damage before I was going to be able it, to put this it. down. Okay. So it's not fair to be able to attack and then just not be able to take damage. Exactly. It's pretty balanced I mean, it would be way. pretty a broken card. That you know, makes it easier to figure out what I'm going to do. Then. I'm going to pay three. I'm going to play the Burnished Heart. I can pay three and sack the Burnished Heart to get two base basic lane cards, put them on the battlefield tap and shuffle my library. Uh, I'm also gonna pay three and I'm gonna play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Step one is create a 2-2 red goblin shaman creature token with whenever this creature attacks, create a treasure token. It's on one, I get a 2-2 red goblin gooblin. Gobble, gobble, goo, gobble, gobble, goo. Gobble, gobble, goo. He's holding a little money bag because that reminds me he makes treasure whenever he attacks. Is he hasty though? He is not hasty. I know, how sad. I just have to block because my fellow yeah, Gatewatch like is attacking the... me as soon as this chasm shows up for some reason. So then that will be it for now. Go ahead. Untap my upkeep. I will lose two life. Keeping the glacial chasm alive. Keeping the chasm alive. Draw for my turn. Draw two extra from the Sylvan Library. Sylvan Library will make me lose life because it says pay for life. Only keep one card. Ooh. So you're going to... I will tap for three. I'm going to cast Harrow. Harrow! Main phase. As an additional cost to cast it, I will sacrifice the land and grab two lands from my library. They will enter the battlefield. That will trigger untapped. her to three, but mm -hmm. she fails to do the seven damage to you Why? because, but yeah. it's not oh, a loss it's of life. it's damage. Indeed. Boom. I wanted to play a track. I have an Atraxan Infect deck, but. I hear Infect is not have, uh, popular. When I got into Magic, I got in during New Phyrexia, so Infect mm. will always be okay with me. I don't mind, I like it. I, I, I had to live through that standard, so. I'm I don't mind it. Tap for four, and let's keep the creatures on the battlefield. I'm gonna play Defense of the Heart. Guys, the upkeep trigger? Defense of the Heart reads, for three and a green. It's an enchantment, it says during your upkeep, if one of your opponents controls three or more creatures, sacrifice Defense of the Heart, search your library for up to two creature cards and put those creatures into play. Shuffle your library afterwards. Woo! <laughs> we need to destroy that. So, destroy that, destroy the creatures, and it doesn't happen. Well, yeah, to be fair, if, worse, if push comes to shove, I can wipe everything except for that. So, Won't Defense of the Heart is evil. And I'll yeah. get to probably search my library for something. Pass the turn after that. Okay, on top, upkeep and Sylvan Library trigger. We're at 36, full sand. <laughs> I'll keep that and I'm gonna put, keeping one, putting two back on top. Play a forest and then I'll tap five and I'll cast Vanquisher's Banner. It's an artifact. As it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type. Elves, creatures I control of the chosen type get a plus one, plus one, and whenever I cast a creature spell of the chosen type, I draw a card. So good. Yikes. It's gonna be a little bit harder to kill him now. Yeah. I guess uh, you're gonna get that trigger. Oh shoot, sorry. That's right. Who else That's knows right. what I have in here? You sound like you guys are Inquisitor Grayfax voice. He comes out from time to time. I was gonna pass. Untap, upkeep, no upkeep triggers, but I do draw from the bottom. <laughs> The ship the and land. reef. Yes. What do I have here? Do I have anything that can deal with your bullshit? But I'm gonna tab it for colorless, so it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna cast Mere Custodian. When it enters the battlefield, I scry two, and then each opponent may scry one. Yeah. Are you, anyone responding to me Is casting it? Mere Custodian? I am not. So I'll scry first. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just a Mere Custodian. I'll leave those on top. Oh. Really? That means I don't want them. <laughs> Technically the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> They're on my bottom, not to be confused with your bottom. Are you scrying? How much damage do I take if I scry? It'd be eight. I will not scry. Yeah, I'll scry. I get a counter going <laughs> to four. Top. Of course you will, because you, you take no damage. Are, are you going to no, take No, definitely eight not. Dam no, damage? no, no, no. I know okay. what's there. I have Sylvan Library. Thank you. Oh, you already know. Yes. I pass. I guess reading the card does explain the card. All right, I'll untap. Sometimes. I'll tap the lands. I will draw my saga. We'll go to step two. It says I may discard up to two cards. If I do, I draw that many. Now let me take a look and see if I want to do that. I'm going to discard the Endless Atlas, and that's it. So I will draw one card off of that trigger. We need to do something about Mike. Yeah. 
I didn't with, swing. I was trying to keep you all as friends. As friends. Against the um, an amigo who played uh, Defense of the Heart. I can kill some creatures for the to stop the Defense of the Heart trigger if you would like that. I feel like it's we should definitely damage. stop that because he can choose just to get rid of that and then start well, playing again. So to, to kill enough creatures, I will have to bring in my commander, which will deal six damage to every creature. Wow. Yep. Can you do that this turn? I can do that. You will still have River, which I hate, but yeah. you love. I would be okay with it. I mean, you're gonna search in a second anyway, so you can just block it and search now if you want. So I'll send the two at you and I'll create a treasure. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's save, trade. Maybe some time. I'll block with Noble. If it's put into Graveyard from play, each player may search his or her library or their library, and then we shuffle our libraries. Oh. I will be declining to search. Are you searching? I will of search. course he will. You search? <laughs> no. You're not gonna search? No! You don't want to take a million damage? Negative. Okay, well I'm gonna search and go up one. I'm gonna put this card into my hand and I will shuffle the rest. I have a... You resolved your search, I resolved my search. It's still your turn. Yep, I'm now out of combat. I'm gonna tap these beautiful mountains. I'm gonna sack this beautiful treasure and I'm gonna attempt to cast my commander, Thimberchod. <laughs> In response, I'm a tap two blue. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what if oh, I did? So <laughs> that would be, roar, by that the way, be terrible. If I actually great. did counter that, like, they'd be like, what? Lynch is so evil. <laughs> How dare he do that? Does that you resolve? hope I have stuff yes. I can do with that, man. <laughs> Does it resolve? I have no response. Perfect. All right, so he will deal damage equal to the amount of mountains I control to each player, including myself, and each creature that does not have flying to so that six to everything. It is damage. Yes, so, so he won't take any, which sucks. Do I take how much? One, six. Two. Okay, I got 29. So you're wiping the board? Yeah, so everything's gonna die. Everything's gonna take six damage. In response, I'm gonna tap my Findhorn Elves. I'm gonna activate Azuri's ability to regenerate Dwinin. Yeah. And then I'll put that down. It taps it down though. And then it taps it down. Choose to return a forest to my hand. And then I will untap target creature. And then I'll use this ability only once. So then I will tap this to regenerate another creature, activate his ability to save this guy and then he comes untap. back and taps. Regeneration, when you activate it, it puts like a shield on yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna so say, I think it with taps the creature yeah. and then any damage dealt to it for the rest of that turn is reduced to zero. You've regenerated these two and this wipes and that goes to the graveyard. Yes. And then I, we all wipe, your dice. Adelan will die. Okay, so you've got two which Almost stays away from that. the three. So now the Chungus is among us, but that's all I got, so I will pass. Awesome, I will untap, upkeep. None of my opponents will have three or more creatures, so I will not get a Defense of the Heart trigger. I will, however, have a Glacial Chasm trigger. I will let this guy go to wow. the graveyard. Five then three. I will draw, and I will draw two more from the Sylvan Library. These two back on top. Tap for three, Ramanap Excavator. I see what he's Two, going three, to you may play land cards from your graveyard. I, I can't do shit. Yeah. Tell if you can you counter Lynch, something. you can save us. Sometimes I'm not the hero you want, but the That's hero you right. need. That's right. I'm gonna right. mana drain. Yes. I got this from my explosive mana iteration. Drain. Well, King for this King one, at least Kings. you got three. I know. So I'm <laughs> yes. Let's hope I don't get roasted for this mana drain. Sadness <laughs> yeah. on the stack. The King of Kings. You were totally going to replay that. He yeah. was. That's absolutely what he was going to do. He's like, I'm so smart. There's no way. I'm he playing was, Red I Red mean, it was a crazy. It was, no, I mean, that was a 4D <laughs> chess move, absolutely. That was a 4D <laughs> chess move. That was. Good you were going for it. Yes, I was. I was very sad when he played that. All right, I'm going to tap for a forest. Now that uh, Sadness has left the stack, I'm going to tap <laughs> for Force and cast Exploration. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. So I still haven't played a land yet. For my first for land will be a forest, and I'll play another land, be a forest. And then I'm gonna just be sad. Like I'm gonna tap for three, and I'm gonna cast a Wayward Swordtooth. Sorry, I'm tapping like this. And you do have the blessing, correct? I am blessed. Wayward Swordtooth is a 5-5 five five with Ascend. If you control 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. I am blessed. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and Wayward Swordtooth can't attack or block unless you have the city's blessing. So you have three lands per turn. Uh, right now I have three land drops per turn, yeah. That was the resolve. Game. Yeah. I'll play another land. Gross. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. God your commander's not out. I wish he was. I wish I'm, a lot of things I'm were happening. <laughs> we know that. I'm really happy. He's just sitting pretty over there by the phone your in the mutant corner. Mutant powers won't help you today, <laughs> X-Men. <Yeah. laughs> oh, it's always funny to me that Morph tried to save Wolverine, the only X-Man that wasn't going to die from a Sentinel attack. 
Anyway, I will then pass the turn. Untap. They want you to believe he might be able to die. <laughs> upkeep, draw, oh, upkeep, I have my Sylvan Library. You have the life. I'll take four damage and put one back. Yes. Only a few more turns. Your I will greed. play my forest. Pay three. And that. I will cast Reclamation Sage. Two, one. When it enters the battlefield, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yes, please. Over yeah. the defense of the heart? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. going to trigger. He's going to get two. This player is almost dead. This player has got to go. This is a problem. Yeah, yeah I agree. This yeah. is already buffing it. The council over, has spoken, Lynch. Over, you could actually target your creature with yeah. the other thing. Yeah. yeah. Clout can One go. One card in. Bye-bye. Yeah. River loses their clout. I liked when River had clout. She was just chasing clout. I'll tap two, and I will cast a lightning graves. And pass, pass anybody, uh, and nope. then I will equip my lightning greaves on the Dwinnin. Yep. I'm gonna pass. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw from the bottom of my library. I have three generic mana because of the mana drain. Because of my sadness. Let's use the three colorless from the mana drain. One red, and I'm gonna cast Hired Giant. When it comes into play, each other player may search their library for a land card, and they put that into play and shuffle their library. Would you like to search for a land? <laughs> Only if the other two players are gonna search. Are you guys gonna search? Probably not, right? End to the O. Oh. I think it should say opponents. I think it means not me. Open. I'm not going to Oh, I thought it went the way of turn order. No, it goes like this. Searching goes in way of turn order, but then there's oh, a... No, everything goes... damage goes in reverse order. damage goes in reverse I'm good. I like mountains, but I don't want to go this way, but then resolves this way. No, I'm good. No, Are you no. Good? You don't want to search? You want land? Fuck oh, no. I already got enough mountains to make a holler over what, here. Why? Uh-uh. <laughs> I will go ahead and swing at you for currently seven. Ooh. Okay. The threat. Block of Wayward Sword, too. Yeah, okay. So you block. So your your creature dies. Okay. Are you doing effects? Only if you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass. All right, I will untap. I will draw. This is gonna go to stage three, and it's going to flip and transform into the reflection of Kiki Jiki. I can pay one and tap it to create a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature I control, except it has haste, and then I sack it at the beginning of the next instant. It's a two -two. Who are you hitting? Are you hitting someone in the face with that big old belly dragon? Well, I'd like to, but am I gonna to get to untap from my other two opponents if I attack Sean? You probably won't. I won't attack you. I mean, I'll let you untap and not attack you. <laughs> if you don't attack me, that's I'm the end. I'm not sure I can make any deals because I don't know what I might draw. And if I draw into a win con, I don't want to make a deal. And All right, then... so if I swing on Lynch, you're going to let me untap? Yes. Yes. Perfect. All right, I'm going to pay six. I'm going to attempt to cast a red dragon. When it enters the battlefield, it does four damage to each opponent. So four damage to each of us? Uh, yes, to each of my opponents. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Well, so I think I'm going to have to attack you, Lynch, with Thimberchod. I'm trying to decide if I want to exert him or not. Remember, I, I do I have ways to double target like... creature's toughness. That is true. I think I will exert him to give him flying. Okay. So I'm coming at you with five in the air, commander damage. All right. I have responses. Okay. Do you have a response? Now that you do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that earlier. Oh, I, I do, prematurely yeah. responded. No, no response. Okay, I'm gonna pay one blue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put hybrid representation on the stack. Targeting. Targeting your dragon. Okay, I'm going to exile Simeon Spirit Guide to put red on the stack, and I'm gonna pyroblast that. So good. Oh, fuck. Come on, don't waste any more cards. No, come on. So you don't wanna waste another card on that. I'm gonna tap. Just take the five damage. He's gonna win the <laughs> come game, Lidge. I know. You need a counter spell to counter him when he's about to win the game. You're the one being rude, trying to destroy my creature. Just take. Well, the I just wanted to also. <laughs> you're triggering him. To come on, come on. I have a way that maybe no, I can do no. it. Do come it, on. Lynch. You're not Polish. I'm Polish. So pyroblast is on this. You just. How do you counter me more than I've countered you <laughs> in these two that is games? A good point. This is ridiculous. Is the red <laughs> mage is counter. You want to learn from this? So yeah. trick she loves it. You know how happy she is right now that you're fucking with blue? <laughs> She's loving it right now. You made my, can I get a kiss that I feel yeah. better? Okay, Good I feel job. a little better. Yes. You calmed him down a little bit. Right. Yeah. I can't guarantee oh, you the on. same thing. You gotta save the counter spell because he might win next turn and you know it. Yeah. Yeah. Take five? Yeah, five commander. But he will not untap during my next untap step because he's exerted. Yeah, at <laughs> least take that. So you're fully fire. exerted himself. Well, I mean, to him to fly, it cost, it cost him a lot of energy. Yeah, he's like, you saw the movie, and then he just slides down the treasure. <laughs> okay, I took, I took it. Perfect. 
I will end my turn. Untap. So I think I have to respond to your untap step. I will untap on my upkeep. I will have a trigger for defense of the heart. There are three creatures on one of my opponent's side, so I will get to sacrifice it and search my library for two creature cards. In response to that trigger though on the stack, I'm going to tap two mana and I'm going to target my commander to double target powers creature till end of turn. Mm. Oh. This is going to, since you then search, go to six and then. <laughs> Does that happen before I finish searching? Uh, whenever an opponent scries, surveils, or searches their library, put a plus one plus encounter on River Song, then it deals damage to that player equal to its power. Uh, so you kinda search. Kinda sounds like it. Defense yeah. happens. Then I double its power, so it's it's a 16-16. I'll respond to that. Okay. Trigger on the stack. No, sorry, I will respond to this. Okay. I gotta try. I don't know if it does it, though. Unleash Fury on the stack. I'll cast Heroic Intervention. Permanence you control gain hexproof, and in permanence you control... Oh, not you. That doesn't do anything for yeah. me. He so thought it had you in permanence yeah. you control. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Okay. Sorry, but you did win already with this deck. <laughs> really? That gets me. That gets me. I searched. Then he puts a plus one counter I didn't on even, it. I didn't even think yeah, about that. Yeah, I got the six and it goes to eight. Yeah. I, I take 16. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even think about that. That's pretty smart. And I die. Was it 5D chess? No, it was like 4D chess, but it was still pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. 4D. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't that was 5D. Good. That was good. That's because you were greedy with the... Oh, definitely. All right, Chrissy, yeah. it's your right, turn. on top. I was going to get two things that would kill you. I yeah, figured. I knew it. I, knew I figured. It. I, I was like, it. kill you, you would live, Ugh. she would live. And yes, kids, do not let Defense of the Heart ever resolve. Upkeep, Sylvan Library. Oh, the turntables have turned. <laughs> I'm going to take my one for hand, and I'm going to take the other one for a four. Wow. Look at how you're Put one on the top. Yeah, we need to remove target Lynch. At least I still draw from the bottom of my library. Bottoms up, everybody. <laughs> I land. I am going to pay five, and I'm going to cast Azuri, which then gives me my Vanquisher's Banner trigger. Whenever I cast a creature spell of chosen type, draw a card. The mm. Time Lords. Just gonna pass. All of us have big blockers. <laughs> you don't wanna <laughs> die, he said. No. Untap, draw from the bottom because I have River. I'm gonna tap three. I will cast Swiffy Boots. Hey, they're back. I will equip it to River. I'm gonna swing at you mm -hmm. for Eight. Besides the hexproof and haste, any keywords on her right now? No, just the whole draw from the bottom and if you scry search or surveil. All right, I think I'm gonna risk it. I'll take the eight. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> what does he water. want, water? I'm water baby. He's the water baby. He's unfortunately fire. That's yeah, I'm timber chod, not water chod. He is red, yeah. I will pass the turn. Look, he's bluffing. They only, they only, they only talk about the cards in the hand when they're bluffing. Yeah. Those blue players. Now is the I time know, to right? kill Lynch. Yep. Yes. Okay, so he's exerted, so he will not untap. I can deal eight in the air, but after I swing on him, are we gonna, you gonna let me untap? We're gonna be friends? Yeah. Just, for, just so I can untap? Okay. Yeah, and then we can just. Then we, we can duke it out after yeah. that. Yeah. That sounds perfect. Process of elimination. It's I think, kind of like how I think the that game sounds rolls, good. right? I think we get rid of these two first. I concur. You're halfway there. Tap my reflections of Kiki Jiki, paying one, and I'm gonna make a copy of the Red Dragon. Any response? I respond with sadness. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna enter the battlefield and do four damage to each of my opponent. And then this will be the copy until it goes away at the end. It also gains haste. It makes a four, four dragon. Then I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to foretell this card. Ooh, Ooh. I wonder. God, I don't know how many foretell are in red. I'm gonna pay two, and I'm gonna cast Rolling Vortex again. Any responses to that? It says at the beginning of each player's upkeep, it deals one damage to them. If a player casts a spell and they did not spend any mana to cast it, it deals five damage to that player, and I can pay one to prevent someone from gaining life. I am then gonna to move to my combat, and I'm going to send eight flying in the air at Deer Lynch. I go to eight. Post of the facilities, and you will take one at your upkeep. One damage. On this dies? This goes away. Well, Sylvan Library. I like trigger. this a little more, I think. I'm going to keep one, put these two back on top. Play my force for turn. I don't have very many lands. It's so sad. I keep trying to feel like <laughs> You're hoping more, more is going to come just gonna out. Appear. Yeah, it doesn't happen, sadly. I will pay three and I will cash Elvish Archdruid, trigger Vanquish's banner. I will draw my card. It is a 2 2 Elf Druid. Other Elf creatures control get plus one, plus one, and I can tap and add Forest to my mana pool for each Elf I control. So this is a buffer, this is a buffer, and this is a buffer. So these two only get two buffs, not three. Right. So this is a 5 4, 4 4, 5 5, 5, five, five, five 6, six and a 4 4. four. This is this is enough I mean, we to did kill make a, a gentleman's. Oh, power, we did make a gentleman's agreement. We did. He can do four damage on you, and then I mean, 
It's okay. You know what? Hold on. <laughs> As a fellow dragon player, I don't mind losing to some fire. So you wouldn't swing on me. If you swing on him, I'll let you untap. I won't swing on you on my next turn. I'm gonna honor our deal so you can untap because I'm a woman of my word. You are a, so, a lady and a scholar. Yes, yes. Now I will move into combat. Okay, you're in combat. I will tap everything and I will full swing at you, Lynch. So what's the total damage? This is a five, five, four, four, five, six. So there's no way I can get out of this. Negative. But I still have a response. Of there course you, you do. I have to do something. Blue. I'm gonna tap three, one blue, two red. I'm gonna flash in dual caster mage. Not the best time. Mm. I, I was almost gonna dual caster mage the hybrid. So now I can block two things, but I think I'm still dead, right? Yeah, whenever uh, attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. So you're gaining four, four life. life. So if I respond to her attack, will she not gain life? Correct. So yes. I'm gonna do that. So with that on the stack, I don't want you to gain. Yeah. I don't want to gain. Any All right. Life. So with Dwynan's uh, ability on the 13? stack. Oh, not the gentleman yeah, we thought that he was. <laughs> Man. Not the there gentleman. Was, there was no deal about not there life stopping. No. <laughs> that, that was not in the fine print, and also sick. Don't let that Rolling vortex fool does you. something. <laughs> <laughs> so I blocked the two five five or three five fives. There's three five power creatures. All right. Well, yeah. I blocked two. Power creature for the All right, I die. Every song did some stuff, man. That was nasty. I will pay two. It was nice watching. And I that. will cast Tajura Preserver. It's a two one elf shaman. Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to sacrifice permanence. Mm. Trigger, when I cast a creature spell, I will draw a card. I will pass my turn. At the start of my upkeep, I will take a damage. All my stuff will untap now because he's past his exertion turn. Because you allowed me to untap, I'm gonna allow you to Untap. I'm gonna do some devious things, but I will not swing with my critters. Don't worry about that. You're gonna learn never to make deals with red players. <laughs> I know. I think instead I'm going to attempt to cast my foretold card. I'm gonna pay six. I'm gonna delayed blast fireball. It's gonna deal five damage to each opponent and each creature they control. In response, I'm gonna pay one forest into Azuri's ability, and I will pay to regenerate Elvish Arch Druid. Perfect. And that's why you don't make deals with do red players. Have, do you not have it? And then I do five. Yes. And then that will be it. So you'll take one at your upkeep as well from the rolling vortex. <clears throat> Untap, upkeep, take one. I'm gonna yeah. keep one, put two back on top. You only have to deal 14 damage. You deal 13 damage. I'm gonna play my force. I tap seven, where five is X, and I will cast Finale of Devastation. Search your library and or graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less and put on the battlefield. It goes onto the battlefield? Right on the battlefield. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. then I will get Seedborn Muse. Uh-oh, she's gonna go infinite. Two, four. On tap, all permanents you control during each other player's untap step. So we untap together. Together. Yeah. Moving into combat. Yep. I'm going to swing Dwine in. Oh yeah, whenever, do I get to gain the life? Oh uh, yeah, I don't have any way to okay. pay it. Cool. Well, last time I didn't get to, so <laughs> I'm gonna take it and just hope you don't have like a titanic growth or something, so. Okay. So, is that it? Yep, Bye. that's it. Uh, I sadly passed my turn. Okay, so then I take one. Untap, upkeep, untap. Yep, untap. Our, oh, we yes, untap together, we untap. We untap. We untap. Yay. Get to one together blocker. we are gruel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, will play a, I will play a mountain. I'm going to tap my Kiki Jiki and attempt to make a clone of the red dragon. When it enters the battlefield, you'll take four. And then I'll, oh, I will go to combat and oh, I will full send my dragons, my dragons at you. And I'm exerting big boy. My lady, it was a fantastic that, game. Yes. Good game. Yes, good game. absolutely. Good game, good game. Now good we game. learn why you don't make deals good with game. red players. <laughs> or you put some more no, in the table. No, we've learned we don't make deals with any magic With players. outlaws. <laughs> well, you got another win here with yeah. your cowboy hat on this time. Hey, and you know what? I'll even say I couldn't have done it without the ladies' hilt. So At least we both kept our word. <laughs> you got you know? a sense. Keeping your word, I think, is important. Yes, it is. Definitely is. Which is why it's good to keep clauses in there. I'm gonna go down. We, I we don't mind a, going down. The end the there, we definitely went into a standoff at the end there. It was, it was, like a it was Mexican pretty wild standoff. Stand yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're all like, uh -huh. ah, who's gonna die? We yeah. were first, we're like, kill you. Yeah, okay. first, we're like, shoot me, <laughs> kill me, <laughs> kill you, because you killed one earlier. But then, how do we? We were who the, died? Yeah, we were the yeah. three Spider-Man. Like, and I was yeah. trying to kill Avi, but you guys all were responsible magic players, not searching. 
Yeah, you were like Icarus. You just flew. It was just too. too, too it was too to too much damage too soon, right? Like if you had snuck it in a little bit, right? Like yeah, one much. damage, two damage, three. But it was just like you want to take eight damage. No nah. thanks, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> How was it coming back? Amazing as always. I love it. I love LA. I love the show. I love coming out and hanging out with my friends. I mean, it's. It don't get much better. I'm glad you get to make the trip over from the <laughs> yeah, good old yeah. Kentucky. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I mean, that was fun. That was great. I got to do all the things I wanted to do and got to see some great uh, sparks fly with uh, the red mages, uh, all the red and blue, but uh, the pyro blasts and the <laughs> red elemental blasts. You countered me more than I countered yeah. you. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, hey, it's I'm a boss still like, what too, happened? So. Hey, <laughs> I did get my S thoroughly Removal pushed in because I didn't get to cast my command. I guess at least I got to kill somebody. So, I got to kill yeah. the previous winner, which kind of yeah. makes yeah. me right. somewhat of a winner. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad we played the second round so then we could all play a little magic. That's right. Fun yeah. fact, <laughs> this deck, yeah. when it was first built, it was Barry's idea for her to play it was Barry's idea to build a Zuri for Chrissy because he knows how much she just likes tapping creatures and, and hitting Swing. people. Swing. Something besides Mardu, yes. You were the most upset with the Glacial Chasm. You were like, I, I can't even attack you? I know, <laughs> I know. Sorry. The whole game I was definitely thinking that as much as a threat Sean was, as much as a threat as Lynch was, I knew that if I let Chrissy go unchecked that she was just gonna <laughs> trample over the survivors anyway. That's so. what Azuri yeah. does. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Azuri goes crazy. Yeah. I mean, it, had she just had a little bit more mana too, she could have gotten the hoof. Yep. Yeah. Or done some One crazy I mean, it, I mean, yeah, honestly, it was like a single beta away. It was like, One. I was yeah. toast. If that yeah. Defense of the Heart had yes. resolved, it was, we were good. toast. It yeah, a lot of damage. I'm really glad you guys all came to the show. Chrissy, I'm glad we were able to get a babysitter. Yes. So you could be here today. It's yeah, always yeah, wonderful yeah, having yeah, you yeah, on the awesome. show. Every other Friday, check us out here at I Hate Your Deck. We want to hate your deck too. Yeah. Hey, do hey, hate, hey. Dude, I, don't, I didn't hate your deck. I appreciate it. I actually that. liked it. I, I love that. I hated your deck. I hate that deck. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I love dragons. Nice. I have a soft spot for dragons. I hated your deck for like one second when it didn't let me even un, like get Do through anything. my upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, like, I, I got a little bit of hate card. for the deck. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. Hey, it's time for the Patreon shoutouts that are random. BK, Daniel Martins, and Nicholas Delisile. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast, tapping out and slinging spells. Wizards of the West Coast, tapping out and slinging spells. deck. Wizards of the West Coast. I hit your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. I hit your deck. Join the I Hate Your Deck Patreon exclusive Discord to get the various benefits and be able to play Commander daily with people from around the world in our global community. I Hate Your Deck.